What is going on my Elite Gamers? My name is Luigi Elite and today we are hopping back into the world of Mario Kart but the subject for this video is a little bit different. So I'm not usually one to talk about rumors all that much. Now that I think about it I haven't covered rumors at all yet on this channel but there have been some strong rumors saying that a new Mario Kart is going to be released this year called Mario Kart Crossroads which means that not only will a bunch of Mario characters be in there, but also other Nintendo IPs, kind of like Link and Animal Crossing characters like we got in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Now, even though this is just a rumor and there hasn't been any kind of official evidence from Nintendo or anything, the reason why I decided to bring this up is because the concept for this kind of Mario Kart is actually really cool, and the people who have told us that this kind of thing is happening have predicted stuff correctly in the past. So today, I thought it would be cool to check out 5 Nintendo IPs that I think have a shot of making it into the next Mario Kart, should a Mario Kart Crossroads actually happen. Now just to be clear, this is not a ranking video or seeing who will make it in more than the other. This is just a list seeing what 5 Nintendo characters that are not in the Mario universe I think have a higher shot than all the other major Nintendo characters out there that could make it into Mario Kart. So without further ado, let's -a go. My first pick for a possible newcomer is Zelda. Now, I know that Link has already been added to Mario Kart from DLC Pack 1 we got in Mario Kart 8, but even though The Legend of Zelda has already been represented in Mario Kart, I actually wouldn't be surprised if Zelda was brought into the game. I mean, The Legend of Zelda is probably Nintendo's second biggest franchise after Mario, so it would make sense if they wanted to add another character from that franchise in Mario Kart. I also want to mention that during E3 last year, Nintendo revealed expansion passes for Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity and we got to see Zelda riding that stone motorcycle from Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Now, I have no idea if this was an intentional hint at the next Mario Kart, or if it was simply put in the game because it looks cool, but I thought it might be worth pointing out. My next pick for a new recruit is Kirby. Okay, so I know I said I wasn't going to compare the probability of these characters making it into the game, but I have a good feeling about this particular character. Just like with Mario and Link, Kirby is a very recognizable and popular character from Nintendo's giant roster of characters. His games are actually pretty similar to Mario's games, and with Kirby finally getting his very first 3D game of all time, I can only imagine a Mario Kart racetrack that takes place in this world, and maybe even some cool looking car parts as well. Now, I'm not sure if characters like Meta Knight or King DDD from the Kirby games will get the same special treatment, but there's no way that these characters would be added if Kirby isn't put in there first. In a weird way, Kirby seems too good of a character to not be put in Mario Kart, but whatever. After that, I've decided to pick someone a little more out there, and that is Captain Falcon. You know what? Scratch what I said before. This is the character that seems too good to not be put in Mario Kart. F-Zero is a much more hardcore racing game compared to Mario Kart, so this character already has some experience with racing. Also, even though Captain Falcon isn't as beloved by as many people, he's still fairly recognizable and popular. It's also worth mentioning that F-Zero has gotten a decent amount of attention in the latest Mario Kart. I mean, we've got the Blue Falcon as a playable kart, which we even got in Mario Kart Wii, we've got F-Zero tracks to race on which are awesome and extremely fast paced, and there's even amiibo support that let you unlock a special Captain Falcon costume. All of this is really cool, but it's about time for Captain Falcon to make his debut in Mario Kart. My next choice for this list is Olimar from Pigmen. Pigmen is a series that I feel like has gotten a lot more attention over the past couple of years. We got Pigmen 3 from the Wii U getting ported to the Switch with the title of Deluxe in 2020, and we also got Pigmen Bloom, an augmented reality mobile game in 2021. So I feel like this would be the perfect opportunity to introduce him to Mario Kart. Also, the idea of a Pigmen themed track would be really cool, being shrunk down and driving around past all these weird creatures from the Pigmen universe. It also might be cool to not only play as Olimar, but his different skins could be the different characters seen throughout the Pigmen games. My only issue with Olimar is that the Pigmen franchise isn't nearly as recognizable as Mario or The Legend of Zelda or Kirby, so I'm not as confident in his inclusion as others, but I still have faith in this character possibly making it into Mario Kart. And my final pick for a new IP in Mario Kart is Fox from Star Fox. I understand that the Star Fox franchise has kind of gone downhill for the past few years, but the characters throughout the Star Fox series, like Fox, 
Falco, and Wolf are pretty popular characters that would fit perfectly into the Mario Kart universe. I can only imagine some of these battlegrounds or space cruisers getting turned into giant race courses for Mario and his friends to drive on. And again, some of those spaceships could be used as carts or bikes for characters to drive in, so that would be pretty cool. Once again, the only issue I have with these characters is the same issue with Olimar, that being that these characters aren't as recognizable as people like Mario, Link, and Kirby. But I'm still holding out hope for these characters as possible options if a crossover Mario Kart were to end up happening. So there you go, those are my picks for non-Mario characters that I think could possibly be in the next Mario Kart should Nintendo go with this whole Nintendo Kart idea. Am I wrong? Am I right? Only time will tell, but until then, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please give this video a like if you enjoyed it, and subscribe with notifications on so you'll know when I post more videos like this. Have a great day, stay safe out there, and I will see you in the next one.